welcome back to some sort of official player ladies and gentlemen right now it is 12 27 p.m it is hot outside you guys may have noticed i'm wearing a watch today hola hey. what are you ladies up to today doing big things for our country really oh wow, you guys all look like you're busy was that was that like all planned you're like you heard the truck pull up and you're like everybody grab the laptop everybody get to work get to work get off, the, work. The, get off the couch turn off the tv turn down the music i mean i'll give you guys credit you did, you did pretty well not gonna lie. Anyways, what I was talking about with the watches, I generally don't like wearing watches. I never wear watches. The reason why I don't like wearing watches is because you need so many different ones for every occasion. You know, like if you're hunting, you need one. If you're fishing, you probably need another one. If you're going out on a date or going to church, going to a funeral, whatever it might be, going to the grocery store, you have to have a different watch for each occasion until now. This watch right here that I'm wearing is the Vincero Rogue. Now, Vincero reached out to me and said, Flair, we love your content. We know that you're getting demonetized in some of your videos. We want to partner with you and sponsor your next video that potentially get, get demonetized. You guys know us. We love hunting. We love fishing. YouTube doesn't really like hunting, but I love it. And you guys at home viewing this video enjoy it as well. So in order to do it when it gets demonetized is get a sponsor to help support the channel. So like I said, Vincero reached out. They wanted to sponsor it. And they said that they've got a great watch for me that is ideal for all things flare related, which is hunting, fishing, going on dates, trapping, what else? Do you say fishing? You don't usually do that. <laughs> Boom, roasted. Anyways, you guys get the point. Vincero said, we've got the perfect watch for you. You can do anything with it. And I was like, all right, I, I'm kind of skeptical. Not gonna lie, I saw it, look at this thing. Look, looks luxurious, right? I was a little bit skeptical. I was like, send it to me. I'll put it to the test. If I like it, I'll share it with my audience. And I freaking love it, ladies and gentlemen. The video you guys are gonna watch today, we are bullfrog hunting with guns. It's graphic, it's gory. It's gonna get demonetized. Wore the watch the whole time, got it bloody, got it underwater, everything. Look at it, it's sparkling, it's clean, it's still good as new. So a couple things that I love about this watch in particular, it is scratch resistant, water resistant, interchangeable strap, and it's surgical grade stainless steel. Now, maybe if you don't like this watch, Vincero has a ton of different watches on their website. It'll be a link down below. You can actually use promo code Flare and get 15% off at checkout and free worldwide shipping. That's why I love Vincero. They have free worldwide shipping. They also have custom engraving too. So if you find the watch that you like, you can have it custom engraved and you get the same look as a luxurious watch that are 10 times as much as this thing. I'm telling you guys, this is the deal. So anyways, with all that being said, do me a favor, go click the link down below. If you guys are, are watch people or not watch people, trust me, I was never a watch person. You can't really find a video on my channel that I wear a watch. You guys know for the last how many years I would look at my bare wrist and tell you guys the time until now. We got the watch that I like that you guys are going to like as well if you're an outdoorsman like myself. But again, I don't like having a bunch of watches I have to change them out. Like if I come home from fishing and then I go on a date, I don't want to change watches. This is a one-stop shop, folks. Go get it down below 15% off and free worldwide shipping. It'll be linked down below with all the promo codes. So again, huge thanks to Vincere for sponsoring today's video. If it was not for them, we would not be able to go hunt down these bullfrogs because YouTube does not like it. They don't. They hate it. They're going to demonetize it. But guess what? Vincero's coming in to rescue the day. I hope you guys enjoy today's video. You stay tuned. How do you feel about those bees? Scary. Dude, they're all out. Is it because it's hot or did they run out of room? I've never seen them this riled. It's I mean, scary. they are wound up. I'm like, I'm like a little nervous. I'm suiting up. Yeah, I said, I'm suiting the hell up for this. So today's agenda is you guys have been kind of watching the videos for a long time to where we have to add the honey super which is the smaller box on top of the two brew boxes the brew boxes is, is where they store all the honey for winter and where all the babies get made we're gonna put a queen blocker and then a honey super and that's gonna prevent the queen from going up and basically that way we don't get honey that's filled with baby i guess like bee larvae is essentially what it is it's not end of the world but you don't want it then the other box that wasn't doing that well is actually doing decent so we're gonna add a second brew box on it so we're gonna be in separate stages so hopefully if all things go well i would say within a month or so boys we're gonna be harvesting honey flares honey gonna be coming soon if we don't get Stung and die. You guys stay tuned. Oh, damn it, I'm not wearing pants. I'm gonna pull my pants down so there's no gap, you know? Dude, if they crawl up your shorts, you're done. Oh, God. I mean, you're talking about nether regions being done. Oh. Not a good idea. Should have brought the whole suit. It's I'm just so on. hot, dude. I'm already profusely sweating. On a good note, water's going down. This is the first yeah. time we took the warthog here in months. I mean, it probably shouldn't have went it here, made but it, it made it. It didn't die. I mean, it was pretty much about as much water as you could do. But yeah, I mean, there, the sign the sign is, I mean, there's not that much water left for the road. So we're good. I would say give it a month. Basically the time that we should be getting honey, the road should be dry. I'm going to start building the new house over here. All right, boys. This is what we call in the South Queen Blocker. Everybody calls it that. It's not just the South. I don't know why I said that. Queen Blocker. So we'll give them a visual in case we die from so the this bees. this is where all the bees are. So the bees will be right here. Right now, this thing is filled with bees over there. So you're going to set this guy right here. 
and then you stick that guy on top. So what it does, it allows all the worker bees to come up through this little vent. But the queen is much larger than the other one, so she can't. Again, it's just so you don't have bee larvae and hatching and everything else. In This is the honey box. This is the box that we will get honey, take honey. There's two of these that are already filled with honey, and that's honey that we're going to let the bees keep. We don't want to take that because that's going to be their food for the winter. Hopefully they fill those suckers up here quick, but that's essentially what we're going to do. We're going to open the lid, take the wood off, slap this thing down, slap uh, this box on it, put the wood on top, call it good, and then we got to do the other box. So you take the top off and you're going to have to get take the wood off too. Nice and easy. Yep. Yep. Okay. And stick that on top of this. Right there. Yep. Just like that. Yep. Okay. Green blockers on. Set that down nice and gentle like. Okay. Dude, that thing was so full of honey. Like, yeah. to the brim. Okay, let's hurry up and get the other one. Here we go, Bonzo. So if you take the lid off and the, and the wood, I'll set this down. Yeah, hang on, let me set this down here. How's that look? Well, they're on all of them. I mean, they're talk I mean, they're on all of them, essentially. Just set that down gently. So we need to take one of these out, right? Just take a middle one out. Oh, oh my. my gosh, look at all that. Oh my gosh. It's all capped. All right, so put that okay. empty one in there. Okay, we'll set that one in there nice and gentle. And the second brew box. Get the lid. All right, and on goes the lid. And get the hell out. Look at all these frogs, look at them. There's a billion of them, boys. Are there any big ones? I only see these little guys. Oh, there's gotta be some toads around here. Dude, there's a billion of these little ones, though. Let's go, hey, we should go look for some big ones. I'm feeling some frog legs for dinner. You boys wanna do some, uh, what are you doing, Lola? Sorry, ripping on Tinder. <laughs> no. <laughs> Snapchat. That's a delay. I can tell by your face that's you a total lie. You know what my lie. favorite app is? Snapchat. Does that face not scream I'm lying right now? What were you on? Tinder. <laughs> let me let's see, see your profile. Yeah, that's not. Let's happening. see the profile. Pull it up. Let's, let's shoot some. Let's, let's shoot some. What were, you, what were you doing? Let's pull it up. Let's see it. Nothing. Was Bud on Tinder? Was he matched with anybody? Any hotties? Some chick mas matched with me, and I was looking. <laughs> she she a beauty or what? You can't, you can't get married and, or have a girlfriend or anything because remember all the ladies, all the viewers are trying to pick oh, one of you, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you have to stay single oh, yeah. until I'll, I upload the video. That. I'll delete that. Johnny, you, you feeling some frogs or what? You see how many are out there though? Yeah, I know. I've been seeing them a lot. I've been kind of like waiting for season, you know? It's, but season, now it's season. S S C S Z N. Z -N. Right? It's frog season. It it's Tinder and frog season, according oh, to Bonzel. Yes. So, should we, should we scout for some biggins or what? Some kitty cats? Some, you know? Yeah. Yeah. There you go, Bonzel. There's, there's your whip. What do you got, the bolt action? God, yeah. You know, you know, nothing like frog hunt with a little 50 round mag, drum. you know what I mean? You need the drum because you miss a lot. Oh! True, I gotta spray and pray. Let's go frog hunt. We're looking for biggins only though. We, I, only want, I only want the freaking tanks. Biggins only. These are just little guys. There's gotta be some... Dude, the hogs though, like when they move water, it sounds like a large mouth hitting a top water frog. Like, I mean, it's just like... Gets me all excited, you know what I mean? You see one, you spray one, okay? Kill him. Kill him, Bonzo. It's a little high, it's still there. Oh god, I see him. You shoot him with the scope. Where's he? I don't know where he's at. Right, right there. That how, dark thing. How far out? I just saw it jump. He got it. Oh. You got him. Oh, oh god, yeah. yeah. You got him. Sheesh! Alright, first one down, baby. Yep. Got him. Hey, first blood, boys. Oh, guys, smoked him in the head, dude. Dude, headshot. Oh my Blind. God, she gone. With the freaking iron sights. Iron sights, baby. Oh, right here, right here. Biggins, baby. Damn, uh oh, 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 go on the Where? flank. Go on the flank. Oh, oh God. That's the one. Come on, chill, chill, chill. You go for that one. Him? I got the left one. I got the left one. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, no, I missed mine. I, I got we missed. I got mine. You think you got it? Yeah. Oh yeah, boys! Here we go with the old headshot, eh? Banger! Yeah, you see those little? Look for heads. Look for heads. Look for heads. Is that one on big right there, Andrew? He did. She going? Got that one. That was a big one. Ooh. Shoot that one. Yep. 
Hey, that thing is milk toast. Good, boys. Oh yeah. Got another one. We're eating good tonight. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get her done dead there, boy. We frog hunting now, son. <laughs> she gone. All right, watch out, boys. Johnny's up. Uh oh. Professional. Sniper's position. This is a Rob Turkula special. I think I missed him. You missed him. Yeah. You missed, Ricky. I didn't get a warm up. That's my first shot. Boys, chill. All right, that's all right. That's all right. We all get. We all get a couple misses. We all get a couple Everybody misses. Everybody gets one. We're going on a trip. My favorite rocket ship. Watch me hit some frogs. <coughs> hit the wall. Hey. Goes. See a big one? Oh. Whoa! Damn, there's got to be a big one around here somewhere. Oh yeah, there has to be. I just need to shoot one more, boys, and then we should be good to go here. It's really hard creeping up on these guys, and it's really hard seeing them with all this, this matte grass, this duckweed. Oh god. Two right next to the tree. Oh god, yeah. Okay, boys. This is going to be the dangle here. See, can I get two right here, you think? You, clapped them both. You clapped them, man. Boys, I just had two giants chilling by a tree. Luckily, got both of them. Let's go check them out. They don't smell the best, but these are the two I clapped sitting by the tree. I'm absolutely sweating. I think that's enough for dinner though, don't you think, boys? All right, let's go clean them. Ready, Bonzel? Oh yeah. Bony apple feet, son. Don't you love getting demonetized? I just, I feel like it's just, uh, it's just a good time getting demonetized. Well, folks, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a quick tutorial, how to clean a frog. Done it before in past videos. You'll probably see it again in the future. I was trying to at least show you one. Um, and then we're ready to get out of here because it's hot. We're sweaty, I don't feel good. I feel like I'm dying. We're gonna do one tutorial and then time lapse the rest. You guys stay tuned. All right, first things first, take your knife, get a sharp knife, which I actually got a decently sharp knife today, not incredibly sharp, but essentially you just want to cut, cut this skin right here. You can even tear it a little bit with your, with your fingers, but kind of want to just cut all the way down the sides. Then you can take a pair of needle nose pliers, get a nice firm grip on it. You can kind of grab the head right here. Just give them a nice slow pull. There's one, grab the other one, and there is two. Then it's easy if you got scissors, but knives work too. Right here at this little joint, a nice snip and a nice snip and you can kind of hold them up like this you want to make sure you get this skin out of here too so then right here this is all your meat this is all the good stuff right here take your scissors just like this give them a nice snipping boom there's your pair of frog legs that you're going to be throwing in the fry so we got i think eight more to do you guys stay tuned All right, boys, we all look like death. We're cleaning everything up. We got them all rinsed off, washed out, clean, cut, ready to go into the fryer. Except, instead of frying them down here at the farm, like sometimes we've done before for other things, we're actually gonna take them home and uh, maybe do a little cooking challenge. You guys know how much we love cooking challenges and see what kind of concoctions we can cook up. Seeing if we can come up with some new recipes. Bonzo's always coming up with some fruity recipes, right? Yeah, I do Frosted Flakes. That's what I'm saying, man. So we're gonna actually, actually we're probably end up going to Walmart. Surprise, guys! We're going to Walmart. Hey, we didn't start the video there, though. Oh, true. So it's okay. Anyways, see you guys at Walmart. Woo! All right, made it to good old Walmart. Is that my car? Cheese and rice. You ready for this? Absolutely. One crock, two crock, three crock, no crocks. Bro, it's it's sandal season. Dang. It's thong season. You know, thong, thong season. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody hate the thongs. Everybody loves those things. All right, Bonzo, you up? I'm up. You're up. You're putting the pressure on me. You're up. All right, so you've got oil and a fryer, and you have, you have access to flour if needed. But that's it. That's all you got. Okay. What kind of what kind of you rocking here? Bacon flavored, garlic butter, chicken in a biscuit. I don't know why I'm talking like that. We we'll do the minis. Club minis, multi grain. Multi grain. Club minis. I have no no clue if it's gonna taste good, but we're gonna try it. Something new. That's a bold move. Slamming. You're up. No pressure. I think I'm gonna go flaming hot Cheetos. Dang it! That's what I was gonna do. Okay, okay, it's okay, it's okay. You can do have, it? You can have, no, 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 no. That, it was your turn. You can pick whatever. Hey, can you pick something else? Yeah, I'll go flaming hot Cheetos. It's a safer bet. Sorry. Okay, all right, let's get it. Cheetos. Um. Is the puffs the move or? We'll go extra hot. Extra hot. All right, all right. I, I feel like I should stick with chips. I don't know. I mean, feel like I feel like it's, I feel like it's gonna come down to what kind of chip you have. I mean, we've all we've got basically all the crumbly stuff. We've got club crackers, Cheetos. What kind of chips? What kind of chips would work for this? What about you got flaming hot Cheetos? What if I got flaming hot Lay's? You think they'd be different enough? Or sweet Southern Heat barbecue? That could be a move. With maybe some barbecue sauce on the side. Might change the game. All right, we're going with this. 
So now we gotta get some eggs. You calling an audible right now? Yeah, I am. Chipotle, Chipotle ranch. ranch. It's still flaming hot though. All right. I don't know, I've never had them either. All right, whatever you, whatever you want, man. Whatever, whatever you want, man. Oh yeah. That'll eat. He needs some milk. Oh, so I'm buying your groceries now? I can now? buy the milk. I'll buy it. Okay. Hey, anyone that's watching, if you need me to buy groceries, I'll link my PayPal down below. Apparently, this is just a charity event. 89 cents, Can we just cents, buy everything bud. in the store? Yeah, just buy it all. Perfect. Put it on the tab. Should we go try hard and do peanut oil? That's what you're supposed to have. Should we go bougie on it? It tastes a lot better. All right, we'll try it. We're going to go $12 for this son of a gun right here. Not balling on a budget. We're not balling on a budget today, boys. Well, ladies and gentlemen, hey, we made it back. And look at these guys. Boom! They're looking fresh. They're looking good. Whoa. Yeah, I was like, what the? I was not I was like, I heard someone. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's what I'm saying. Jesus Christ. Give me a warning. <laughs> she just walked into our house without, like, knocking. You didn't say, I didn't even know you were coming over here. All right, anyways. Macy's here, Squat's here. We've got eggs to prepare. We've got, what, where, where's all the, oh, these guys need this. And then where's the other chips? Did you grab them in the car? I, what did I grab? I got, I got a special seasoning that I'm using. Yo, it's gonna be good. Why are you just smiling at me like that? You always just like smiling. So, we've got all, everything mixed. We've got all the chips. Everybody gets six frog legs. Six frog legs in total. Nine frogs, meaning 18 legs. We each get six. You think that thing can, that thing can probably handle six, do you think? Yeah, they're not. Six at a time. Too huge. Okay, so you're going, okay, you're going straight into egg wash, okay? Yep. Into the egg wash. What's your second step? Just put them right into my baggie. What did you add to your baggie? Those, okay, so you crackers, have club minis, multi-grain. Little flour. Little flour. And then some SPG. All right. Can't be bad on frog legs. I feel like it probably won't be that bad. I don't know. Give it a dangle. All right, they're all in. Give them a shaking and give them a bacon. Feeling good about it? I don't know. Not really, honestly. <laughs> I don't know. I think that SPG is going to be the game changer for me. The crackers, they're kind of, I don't know if they're going to stick a lot. They're not looking too great right now. We're just going to keep, well, the, the Andrew Flair moves. Put some air in here and close it. And yeah, there's holes in this thing. Probably should do this over the sink. It's not working out too well. You ever watched a video of like a, a train going down a track and then just like hitting a wall? Is that what meat? That's meat? It's bomb train. train wreck. Yeah, sure. Okay, sure. Give him a dangle, son. Yeah. Oh, those look pretty good. Yeah. Those look like, it's look like shake and bake. That's what it looks like, yeah. shake and bake. Oh, dude, this, no, yours looks good. Mm -hmm. I like the sign is that, sound Is that good sound effects? Yeah. yeah. I don't know I, why. John I'm... didn't even dub that in, that was just me. I'm... Yeah. I'm pretty confident actually. Those look pretty good. good. I mean the breading didn't stick extremely, extremely well, well, but I did okay. okay. Lightly. And then I got one more step. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where's that? Right uh oh. Here. Right here. Just a little. You thought little. you thought the man was done. Just a little dusting. Just a dusting, eh? Yep. Okay. So all right. So you're, that's your yep. finished product, huh? Yep. I'm pretty confident. I was. I didn't know if it was gonna stick pretty well, but that like yeah, that's a good. good. If, yeah. if, if the judge takes about yeah, that one, two. they're gonna be yeah. good. This one's pretty good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That I like might, it. Might be tough to beat. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go do something a little bit different than Bonds. We're going straight into the flour first. This is gonna be the game changing move here, folks. That's four, five, and six. You guys know the rules. Keep the air in the bag. Mix for a nice fluffy pillow. You don't want a huge thick coating on, on the original coating. On the first the first coating you don't need anything crazy. So you wanna make sure you kinda I like to just dust them off pretty good. Just just get it so they're like this, because now they're dry. It's almost as if you let them just sit out. Then you throw them in here, and the egg wash, egg wash sticks better than if you would have thrown them in wet. All right, now they're all in the egg wash. Now you give them a bath. Just kind of throw it on top of them like this. Nice little even coating on all the ligaments here. All right, step number two here, folks. Going into the chippies. Zip it on up. Then, secret, going back in the flour, just a little bit. Just to cover up the cracks, folks. You tell me how that's gonna get beat, son. Yep, it's gonna be good. Okay. 
There was not a reason why I did that so slow. I just did it for a fact, in case you're wondering. Not bad. Boys. Not bad. Couple ones that look bad, couple ones that look good. We only need one good one out of this batch for the judge. It ain't too bad. It, it didn't stick on the greatest. I'm surprised it didn't stick. How, was, how well did your stick? Better than mine? Because I think my, my the chip. I know. I know the chips are harder to. Mine's just lightly. Okay, they're about yours, the same. Yours is just yeah, flaky. Yeah. So it'll. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. You go ahead, buddy. All right. So I'm gonna do the same thing as Flair. Dip in the flour first. Kind of dry them off. We're letting we're letting contestants choose which wing you give them. So right. you can that's why I said only one yeah. only one really counts. So yep. choose your wing wisely. I think that's my best one. That's, that's a good looking good looking deal. You gonna touch them all? Yeah, what are you inspecting them all? Right? <laughs> that that's your bite right there, that angle. Oh, okay, that one right gonna, there. Do I get to tell them where it's your bite? Oh. Bite right into that good piece okay. right there. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's all the same. Yeah. I mean all right. all I'm just right. letting you know. I just wanna make sure he wasn't biting into that for me. Alright. Going in on, on Andrews the first. Yes. This is yeah. like so, oh, Southern so, hickory so, barbecue or something. Yeah. Something, right. something barbecue ish. Right, we'll that was a good bite. That was a good bite. I was impressed, honestly. The sound quality was really good. So, with that one. I didn't get a wow. It was a little bit bland. I know. I figured it would yeah, be. Yeah, it was just a little I bit. I didn't bland. have any seasoning well, like for my problem. The meat was really good. Yeah. Like the meat? Yeah. Like chicken. No, if, if, I'm not making excuses. I knew it would be bland. That's why I had you try it first. I'm not making excuses. I wish I had some like barbecue seasoning because it was, it was, you were steering to a barbecue where if I could have given a little bit of something or another, you know, it would have been better. But it's okay. It's okay. Maybe, maybe you like the subtle. Maybe you like the taste of frog legs. Maybe ours we'll is see. too strong. All right. You never know. All so right. Go wash the mouth. So Bonzo, it's, Bonzo's it's turn. All right. Yep. Bonzo's turn. Yeah. Ooh, that looks like a seasoning spot right there. Man, that is just such a good bite. He goes, he had the whole thing. Okay. That was a better okay. So yeah, that's a little bit more confident. I feel like. Well, you guys are opposite. So Austin's like breading really good, but like I prefer Andrew's like meat better. Yours is a little bit more like chewy. Seasoning was the bread. best. The seasoning so the, was the really SPG good. On the outside was good. Yeah, that was okay. really good. Last one. This is Sam's. What is this? Chipotle Ranch. Ranch. Flaming. This definitely looks the most interesting. So we'll we'll see how this one goes here. Hmm. That's not good. Well, I don't think a hmm is good. I'm I'm like really surprised because like that was really bland. Really? Yeah, I thought his sandwich would be like super potent. Yeah. It was really bland, honestly. Like it wasn't like the seasoning was like bland. The meat was like about the same as Austin's meat. <laughs> Bro, he just bodied you. Sheesh. I think the strat though is post cook seasoning is yes, the strat yes. if you it's want the only flavor way to get it more to more get actual flavor. flavor. I feel I'm like feeling, I'm feeling pretty confident. Yeah, right now. I think I think you did you did good. That was a power move. If I had some barbecue seasoning, Ooh, would have went yeah. there, but I didn't have any. Yeah. So I, I, that's my fault. Unprepared, you know. So we, I think we feel, I feel like we all kind of know where you stand here. So you don't th you don't think about it too long. Austin's was my favorite. Yeah, yeah. The dub. Yeah. I figured yeah. I, I I dude I looked at that and I looked at that seasoning and I went, there's no way this or that's gonna taste better than that. Yeah. Like the seasoning alone. Yeah. Is gonna make that so much better. Not even including what we actually cooked it in. But I'm like you could have cooked that in straight flour, thrown yeah. SPG on it, and still would have won. Yeah. So then, okay, who got second? Who got third? Pro you second, Sam third. Damn! Took the L. He took the L, big guy. Jeez. I thought you were coming in strong too with I, like the yeah. bold seasoning. I, I was scared about yours. I thought you were gonna win. Yeah, I thought you I were thought too. It was gonna be spicy and like, oh, it's gonna be good. Yikes! All right, we're, we're all trying mine now. We'll see what John John thinks. Bland, dude. I mean, it's not yeah. terrible, but if it wasn't for that salt, yeah, there'd be nothing. It would have yeah. tasted like hard. It just tastes a little salty, which isn't bad. The meat, the really meat good. is really good, though. I like the yeah. meat's super, super yeah. good. I really like the taste of it, though. Like as subtle as the flavor of the seasoning is, oh, I like yeah, the taste yeah. of it. It's good. Like yeah. just eating, like just eating this. Yeah, the flakes turned out good. It's just not. There's not strong enough, you know. Yeah. All right, Bonzo's turn. Mm. Mm. Well. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is that yeah. SPG? Mm-hmm. That SPG makes up the world of difference. We should do, I got an idea. Next one we do, we can only use Cosmo stuff. And do I like, like yeah. barbecue, SPG. Also bring the wing dust. So we can yeah. do like garlic parm. And he's got like a ton of like, we can do the hot wings. Rib glaze, someone can do like a wet wing. Dude. That was really good. All right. Yeah. That's the, that's. Your meat, your like flavor, your meat was still a mm -hmm. little better. I don't know if it's just cooked a little longer, a little shorter. This is going to be, this is the doozy. This is the one I can't believe is bland. I mean, look at it. It looks like a freaking. I thought it would be so spicy. Yeah. I don't even know. 
Mm. I didn't taste any spice, did you guys? Not no. really. I mean, I got a piece that's like covered in the, the chips. The peanut oil must like took all the flavor away. I don't know, man. Do you taste it? Barely. I don't taste it at it all. Taste, it just tastes like regular Cheetos. Yeah. Anything. It doesn't taste flaming hot or anything. Oh, because something you buy at Taco Bell though, huh? Yeah. Aren't they into that like fruity colored stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. All right, strap for you guys at home. Post cook seasoning. Anything like this, right when it comes out the fryer, so they're still wet, they're not like, these are dry. Don't wait till it's dry. Right when it's wet, either throw some salt, pepper, or seasoning. If you want it to taste like garlic, throw garlic on it, whatever you want. But that makes a world of difference. So much better. Because like, think if you had like buffalo hot wings, oh, yeah. and you like just sprinkled a little bit, and I have like some barbecue, like it would have just, yeah. game would have yeah. been changed, folks. Anyways, remember, go check out these guys down in the description below. Go get, some, go get yourself a fresh watch. I like this thing a lot. I've actually used it today during the whole frog catching cook. Literally, we were out there shooting guns at frogs, you guys saw me washing in the water, still works, still tells the time, water resistant, everything else, and also Macy. If I was if I was wearing like a like a button up, hair combed over, had cologne on, and I was repping the watch, would you be like, damn, sexy? Is that would that be your first instinct or or would it be something different? Because I feel like every time <laughs> I put this on, every female that walks by is like, damn, Sheesh. sexy. You know what I mean? They're like wow. Sheesh. like cat calling, you know I what I mean? That was Someone's got earlier. I mean, not that I'm out there looking for other girls. Maybe I should. Maybe I should take this off. Maybe I should take this off. <laughs> is this threatening to you? It's probably threatening to Macy. I'm if you guys, threatened. if you guys, no, you're threatened. I know you are. If you guys want this, it'll be linked down below. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching today's episode. Congrats to King Bonzo. King Bon, he's King Bonzo for Frog Lakes. For now, wait till I get my hands on some more Cosmo seasoning, and you're going down, buddy. You're going down, down. Okay. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you guys have any other recipe ideas for frog legs, let me know in the comment section down below because there's a lot of different ways you can cook these things and there's a lot of different ways you can hunt them. We did guns today. You could do a crossbow. You could do a bow. You could do gig, slingshot. Blow dart. I don't know if you can slingshot. Blow dart. Still don't know if you can do that. But anyways, comment down below what you guys, how we should we hunt frogs next and how should we cook frogs next. Really do appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.